Now, when I sat down with Hammerstone a few weeks ago, Josh, he called you a coward, dating back to the matchup the two of you had at Hard to Kill, saying that he believed he had you beat that night. He said he hit you with the nightmare pendulum and that you rolled out of the ring, quote, like a coward. I, I don't personally understand this delusion from Hammerstone. I heard it, but in that same interview, he tried claiming that he was smarter than me, right? Yeah, I don't I mean, understand. I got hit with the nightmare pendulum. Yeah, it's, it's an impressive move. It put me out, but I had the wherewithal, I had the smarts to roll to the ropes to get myself out of harm's way to continue that match and end up coming out with the victory, right? Agreed. Not about that. A hammerstone, huge size advantage here against Guido. Guido, I understand the experience here. He's got the 2300 arena behind him, but I don't know how much that's gonna mean here. All oh, against hammerstone. And, and that's exactly what I mean, what I was referring to earlier, you know, coming into Hard to Kill, Hammerstone was just, there's a hot free agent on the market coming here trying to make a name. But then after, after being signed by TNA, showing up, having another match with you, oh. he's turned it up to a different level. He's a little bit more intense, a little bit more twisted if I can be so bold. Does that concern you at all, Josh? Not at all, you know, yeah, keep talking, keep talking, don't worry. He's big, he's strong, he's impressive. Yeah, you, all those things. Got to admit it, but I've been in there in the past with the likes of Joe Doran, with the likes of Moose, with the likes of Bully Ray. All these people that are big, impressive, strong. It didn't end well for them either, right? Fair enough. Boot right to the face here by Guido. Guido trying to fight back here against Hammerstone. Still to come tonight, it's Rosemary against one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions. Jody Threat, a preview of their match at Rebellion. Also, all the TNA World Tag Team titles are on the line. The Motor City Machine Guns challenging the system. The winners will defend the titles against Speedball Mountain at Rebellion. Also, we will hear from Nick Nemeth tonight before, oh, he challenges Moose for the TNA World title at Rebellion. Right now, Hammerstone is just, he, he's toying with Guido. I'm gonna say it, he, he's taking his time. Now, right here in front of us, right in front of the walking weapon. I mean, I've been asking for Hammerstone for weeks now. He wants to get in my face here right now, okay? Anytime, anytime. I know in a couple days at Rebellion, I got you, last man standing. Oh, no. oh Zach Clayton in the face of Hammerstone. The new FBI out here with Guido. Saying, whoa, 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 careful. Oh, now Clayton's putting his hands do? on Hammerstone. That's a fair call. I know emotions are running high here. I have to agree with you. It was right in front of the official. We're lucky this match is still continuing. Perhaps Hammerstone manipulating the emotions of the, the new young FBI here, but Guido now trying to take advantage. Yeah, Guido trying to take advantage of the momentary distraction created by Clayton and Jazz. And that's what oh. I mean, Josh. He's not just big and strong. He's trying to manipulate people. Cover here. Oh, and a power out by Hammerstone. Guido sent clean out of the ring. Matthew, I'm no stranger to mind games throughout this entire time here in TNA. My entire time. Some of the best. Christian Cage, Bully Ray. All these people have tried to get in my head. Didn't end well for them, right? Fair enough. Oh. You put out an open contract for a match approved by Santino Morello a few weeks ago here on Impact. Hammerstone wouldn't answer it. Instead, you got Tracy Williams. Yeah, yet I'm the coward, correct, guys? Yeah. Right? Ridiculous. Well, now Hammerstone, we saw him beat the hell out of a cameraman. What the hell? It, it, no, 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 it, it, no, 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 no. It's all ridiculous, but... Oh, and you talk about that cameraman. What did he do? He put that headgear on the cameraman. He tried to do that to Tracy Williams. This is like his calling card as of late. Sending a message right here, right to Josh Alexander, sitting next to us. And now it's got Guido up in the torture rack, just like Hammerstone did to Tommy Dreamer last week. I got the message loud and clear, boys. And that's it, Hammerstone wins. Oh, but Hammerstone's not letting up, Josh. Oh, look at this. The Hammerstone finally releases Guido. Hammerstone using Guido as a corporeal message to what he would like to do, what he plans to do to the walking weapon at Rebellion.